I never feel like you play Batman, you play Bruce Wayne. You know, that's really where where your investment kind of is, and it, it sort of pays off in, in the Batman side of things. But, um, you know, Zach approached me and had a really specific take on the character and wanted to do a guy who was not 25 and, you know, mourning the death of his parents and deciding to become a vigilante, but instead is a guy who had been a vigilante for 20 years and was feeling like, what's, what's the point? You know, what, what, was it, is it worth anything, what we've done? And um, who then, you know, loses friends uh, during the Black Zero event and blames Superman and kind of channels all his rage and, and disillusion at him. I think it's interesting kind of to note that, that these two guys who are at total odds, um, you know, here in this movie, are actually really, you know, want the same things in truth, you know. I mean, of course, that's the question people ask is like, well, why are Batman versus Superman, why are they fighting? Because everybody thinks of them both as good guys. And the movie kind of points out that, you know, um, two people who both consider themselves good guys can find themselves um, on opposite ends of a conflict. Classically, I guess, the uh, the Alfred character is sort of like a substitute father figure for, for Master Bruce, who's a little boy and who have, helps if he raises him after his parents are gone. And so he's, he is. He's a father figure. And this, because of the way that it was reconfigured, he's almost more... Um, He's not, he's not a father figure, you know, like my the character in the way I played it, it's not a guy looking for a father figure. He's more an old friend, an old friend that's been through kind of the war with him and, and who is the one person who can probably speak to him honestly. I give Gal credit. She's, she, she, I think she's just a movie star. I mean, she's beautiful. She's strong. She's assertive. She's a really good actress. Um, you know, she's exactly who you would want for that part. We shot in Detroit, and there was a, a real kind of underdog spirit and a, and a tenaciousness and a pride that the people of Detroit have about their city, and that definitely, um, you know, influenced the way I sort of played, you know, Bruce's feelings about Gotham City, which is that he he you know he loves it, and he knows that other people kind of like look down on it, and he knows that it's had its troubles and, and uh, its struggles, but it's, uh, you know, it's incredibly close to his heart, and, um, and, and obviously it's a place that he goes out and puts himself on the line every night trying to protect. The story for Bruce Wayne begins with this Black Zero event, what they called the End of Man of Steel, where, you know, Zod was fighting Superman, and there was lasers ripping apart buildings, and things were blowing up. And, um, you know, he goes rushing back to his, his building in Metropolis to see, uh, you know, because of his people that he wants to take care of and, and, and get out and see if they're okay. And um, when he arrives, he's, he's only in time to see the building kind of get sawed in half. And, uh, you know, what happens to the people that were in that building. And that, that leaves that, like, scar on him um, is what drives him through the rest of the movie.